the anguished appeals reparation prayers to the agonizing jesus christ lord jesus christ throughout history you are leading us back to the almighty father we are immensely grateful we appreciate your love we remember with heartfelt sorrow our weaknesses sins and all your suffering in this noble task can we lessen it we pray you help us to do it by our style of life henceforth we shall do whatever is required if only you will it show us more love by willing it we make this prayer in the name of jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with the father in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen eternal father i offer you all the wounds of your dearly beloved son jesus christ the pains and agonies of his most sacred heart and his most precious blood which gushed forth from all his wounds in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen eternal father i offer you all the wounds of your dearly beloved son jesus christ the pains and agonies of his most sacred heart and his most precious blood which gushed forth from all his wounds in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen eternal father i offer you all the wounds of your dearly beloved son jesus christ the pains and agonies of his most sacred heart and his most precious blood which gushed forth from all his wounds in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen apostles creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen the first anguished appeal where are you my son your master is looking for you come to me come nearer and hear my agonizing appeal my son there once was a man who had many sheep he looked after them and shepherded them well Whenever they were thirsty he led them to a spring of flowing water to satisfy their thirst he did not allow them to feel hungry he led them to a beautiful green pasture they ate and grew fat and strong the man fortified the pasture land so that no wolf would enter to harm the flock one day the sheep planned a rebellion and forcefully escaped from the camp and he entered the forest there they were captured by wild animals they were like slaves without hope their bodies and blood were used for festivals and animal sacrifices to their gods nevertheless the man did not forget his flock he sent all his servants and they were killed lastly he sent his son who eventually won the battle the son of man led the flock shepherdly day and night in the wilderness on their way they underwent many difficulties which they could not withstand they complained to the son of man uttered all kinds of cruel words against him and finally killed him son when the father of the son of man hears about the death of his son what do you think he will do My son you and your people are the flock my father is the owner of the flock who sent many prophets to his people who are living in this terrifying wilderness i am the son whom you persecuted and killed what have i done to you despite all your sinful acts my father is still calling you to return to him but 
you pay no attention to his call return o israel my people make reparation for the sins you and the whole world commit against my father and against my precious blood i am the agonizing jesus christ prayer my god my god i believe firmly with all my heart i hope and sincerely trust in you only you i will adore forever with true repentance and love i fall prostrate at your feet i ask pardon of you for those who do not believe and do not want to believe for those who do not adore and do not want to adore and for those who crucified you and are crucifying you daily dear jesus i will console you all my life amen an act of contrition oh my god because you are so good i am very sorry that i have sinned against you and by the help of your grace i will not sin again amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen prayer to the most holy trinity o most holy trinity father son and holy spirit i offer you the word made flesh jesus christ his flesh covered with wounds and blood his agony in the garden his scourging his crowning with thorns his rejection his condemnation his crucifixion and death along with all the sufferings of your holy church and the blood of martyrs in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen agonizing prayer agonizing jesus i offer you my heart to be united with your agonizing heart as a co-bearer of your agony jesus i wish to be in agony with you so as to hasten your glorious reign of peace amen second anguished appeal my son come closer to me hear my anguished appeal for love of you i offer my body as a living sacrifice a bread of life for all men my blood is a precious drink the drink of heavenly angels lovingly given to men my son i remain for you in the sacrament of love waiting for you patiently in the tabernacle where i am in prison for you you rarely approach me because you do not remember me who am in prison for you my son my agony is great when i see the coldness the mindlessness and neglect with which you approach the holy trinity whose presence fills the holy sanctuary i am here my son i am here in fullness fear the presence of your god approach with respect and awe my son do you know what i suffer whenever i enter the sanctuary of your heart through holy communion your sins tie me up and beat me mercilessly in your heart there is no one to console me after callously scourging me you drag me away and lock up the door of your heart with iniquity this is what you do to me with your sinful life i am the bread of life for all men who receive me in a state of sanctity i come to give you life not death 
clean the iniquities of your heart open the door of your heart for me make your heart a tabernacle of consolation for me son may i live in your sanctuary from one communion to the other welcome me welcome me my son all who welcome me welcome my father and the holy spirit who live in me all who reject me reject the holy trinity son even if others will reject me make your heart a tabernacle of my consolation i am the agonizing jesus christ calling you to return prayer my god my god i believe firmly with all my heart i hope and sincerely trust in you only you i will adore forever with true repentance and love i fall prostrate at your feet i ask pardon of you for those who do not believe and do not want to believe for those who do not adore and do not want to adore and for those who crucified you and are crucifying you daily dear jesus i will console you all my life amen an act of contrition oh my god because you are so good i am very sorry that i have sinned against you and by the help of your grace i will not sin again amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen prayer to the most holy trinity o most holy trinity father son and holy spirit i offer you the word made flesh jesus christ his flesh covered with wounds and blood his agony in the garden his scourging his crowning with thorns his rejection his condemnation his crucifixion and death along with all the sufferings of your holy church and the blood of martyrs in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen agonizing prayer agonizing jesus i offer you my heart to be united with your agonizing heart as a co-bearer of your agony jesus i wish to be in agony with you so as to hasten your glorious reign of peace amen third anguished appeal my son i am in your heart a lonely getsemani where i am watching and no one dares to come and watch with me even for one hour you would rather chase the possession of earthly wealth even at the risk of perdition leaving me alone to suffer the enemy is fast approaching he is gaining ground so as to win many souls while you are asleep son can't you wake up and watch with me even one hour i am in the sanctuary of your soul a lonely getsemani waiting for you to come many souls many souls are going to hell because of the sins of the flesh son see how you keep on leading many souls to perdition through your fashions i am the one whom you publicly expose naked son console me son have mercy on me never should a man imitate a woman 
never should a woman imitate a man be what i made you son be what i made you i say keep away from this worldly fashion this is the plan of the enemy to destroy the temple of the holy spirit that is your body live a modest life my loving son because i love you and want you to show me love i am appealing to you to offer me your whole being keep it for me and for me alone may it glorify me always may it console me always i am not making this appeal to the world but to you whom i love offer it to me offer it for salvation i am the organizing jesus christ calling you to return prayer my god my god i believe firmly with all my heart i hope and sincerely trust in you only you i will adore forever with true repentance and love i fall prostrate at your feet i ask pardon of you for those who do not believe and do not want to believe for those who do not adore and do not want to adore and for those who crucified you and are crucifying you daily dear jesus i will console you all my life amen an act of contrition oh my god because you are so good i am very sorry that i have sinned against you and by the help of your grace i will not sin again amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen prayer to the most holy trinity o most holy trinity father son and holy spirit i offer you the word made flesh jesus christ his flesh covered with wounds and blood his agony in the garden his scourging his crowning with thorns his rejection his condemnation his crucifixion and death along with all the sufferings of your holy church and the blood of martyrs in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen agonizing prayer agonizing jesus i offer you my heart to be united with your agonizing heart as a co-bearer of your agony jesus i wish to be in agony with you so as to hasten your glorious reign of peace amen fourth anguished appeal my son is this how you betray your master and savior only because of worldly money which perishes in this earthly life that you choose to betray your master and hand me over to the cruel men who crucify me son you are making yourself the judas of the last age for how terrible it will be for those who betray the son of god who hand him over to sinful men to be crucified son see how they will regrettably pass into eternity and suffer eternally even among the priests of my heart there are many judases 
who choose worldly possessions in exchange for their master who is in agony this pains me much my son for they are making my father's house a market place my father is greatly annoyed look and see how you are chasing me away from my holy sanctuary son do you want the presence of your god offer me your life i am the one whom you are betraying only because of these earthly things son since all these things you are laboring for will be destroyed by fire why are you laboring in vain return to me my son have mercy on he who came to save let my priest return to me i am the agonizing jesus christ who loves you appealing to you to return prayer my god my god i believe firmly with all my heart i hope and sincerely trust in you only you i will adore forever with true repentance and love i fall prostrate at your feet i ask pardon of you for those who do not believe and do not want to believe for those who do not adore and do not want to adore and for those who crucified you and are crucifying you daily dear jesus i will console you all my life amen an act of contrition oh my god because you are so good i am very sorry that i have sinned against you and by the help of your grace i will not sin again amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen prayer to the most holy trinity o most holy trinity father son and holy spirit i offer you the word made flesh jesus christ his flesh covered with wounds and blood his agony in the garden his scourging his crowning with thorns his rejection his condemnation his crucifixion and death along with all the sufferings of your holy church and the blood of martyrs in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen agonizing prayer agonizing jesus i offer you my heart to be united with your agonizing heart as a co-bearer of your agony jesus i wish to be in agony with you so as to hasten your glorious reign of peace amen fifth anguished appeal my son when will the torments of my scourging due to your sins and those of the world end why are you scourging me and at the same time crowning me with thorns and thus saying let me sin after i will go to confession i am the agonizing jesus christ whom you constantly torture son did i give you the sacrament of penance for you to become a swine of iniquity this is the sacrament of my love it opens up the ocean of divine mercy the precious blood and water which gushed out to save and cleanse your iniquity so that you will go and sin no more son withdraw the crown of thorns have mercy on me and scourge me not again 
love your god your creator have no other gods of any creature only your god shall you fear and worship call not the name of your god in vain son remember to keep the day of obligation holy prove my name in this bribery filled and corrupt world have all these things done so as to lessen the pains of my agony offer all your disappointments trials and persecutions in atonement for your sins and those of the whole world i am the agonizing jesus christ pleading with you to return prayer my god my god i believe firmly with all my heart i hope and sincerely trust in you only you i will adore forever with true repentance and love i fall prostrate at your feet i ask pardon of you for those who do not believe and do not want to believe for those who do not adore and do not want to adore and for those who crucified you and are crucifying you daily dear jesus i will console you all my life amen an act of contrition oh my god because you are so good i am very sorry that i have sinned against you and by the help of your grace i will not sin again amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen prayer to the most holy trinity o most holy trinity father son and holy spirit i offer you the word made flesh jesus christ his flesh covered with wounds and blood his agony in the garden his scourging his crowning with thorns his rejection his condemnation his crucifixion and death along with all the sufferings of your holy church and the blood of martyrs in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen agonizing prayer agonizing jesus i offer you my heart to be united with your agonizing heart as a co-bearer of your agony jesus i wish to be in agony with you so as to hasten your glorious reign of peace amen Sixth anguished appeal my son draw closer to me and hear my anguished appeal i am daily looking for someone to console me and find none look at my agonizing face where is the veronica of the last age where is she who will wipe my bloody face and console me is she the one who joins the multitude in saying crucify him crucify him they have forgotten that i am their messiah who brought them out of egypt who fed them with heavenly manna and shepherded them under my wings in the dry and hot desert you have rejected me and there is no one to help me son this is how you abandoned your cross and turned away from the way of calvary leaving me alone to suffer verily i say to you my son there is no other way which can lead to the land of promise other than the road of the holy cross 
carry your cross and follow me all the days of your life help me to carry all these rejected crosses which my people have abandoned for me to carry son live the life of your consecration carry your cross and follow me i am the agonizing jesus christ who is calling you to return prayer my god my god i believe firmly with all my heart i hope and sincerely trust in you only you i will adore forever with true repentance and love i fall prostrate at your feet i ask pardon of you for those who do not believe and do not want to believe for those who do not adore and do not want to adore and for those who crucified you and are crucifying you daily dear jesus i will console you all my life amen an act of contrition oh my god because you are so good i am very sorry that i have sinned against you and by the help of your grace i will not sin again amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen prayer to the most holy trinity o most holy trinity father son and holy spirit i offer you the word made flesh jesus christ his flesh covered with wounds and blood his agony in the garden his scourging his crowning with thorns his rejection his condemnation his crucifixion and death along with all the sufferings of your holy church and the blood of martyrs in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world amen agonizing prayer agonizing jesus i offer you my heart to be united with your agonizing heart as a co-bearer of your agony jesus i wish to be in agony with you so as to hasten your glorious reign of peace amen seventh anguished appeal my son look up and see how your sins hang me on the cross i am bleeding for love of you i am sweating for love of you i am thirsty for love of this needful world none of you is willing to console me rather you offer me vinegar when i am thirsty you all stand afar mock and criticize me my son see how you are speaking falsely against your neighbor instead of praying for my holy church you stand out criticizing it i am the agonizing jesus christ whom you are criticizing the church is my body whom you are crucifying my son stand at the foot of my holy cross and offer with my mother the whole world to me i will accept them and offer them to my father they will be his sons and daughters and obey his commands the wrath of the eternal father will be calmed my holy wounds will be healed then my kingdom will come on earth son have yourself crucified for me and with me on the holy cross of salvation this is what i mostly need of you in atonement for your sins and those of the whole world son 
I did not appeal for these things to the world but to you because I love you and I want you to show me love. I promise to draw all men with you to myself through you. Accept my anguished appeal, O oh my loving son. I will offer all your sacrifices that will be acceptable to God in reparation for your sins and those of the whole world. In the end, the whole world will live in me, with me and for me. My sacred side will be opened for all men as a refuge. They will draw the living water from the fountain of life that pours out from my sacred side. Son, let my will be done on earth. Let my will be done in you. Suffer for me and with me. Die for me and live in me. I am the agonizing Jesus Christ. I love you. I bless you all. Prayer My God, my God, I believe firmly with all my heart. I hope and sincerely trust in you. Only you I will adore forever. With true repentance and love, I fall prostrate at your feet. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe and do not want to believe, for those who do not adore and do not want to adore, and for those who crucified you and are crucifying you daily. Dear Jesus, I will console you all my life. Amen. An Act of Contrition O oh my God, because you are so good, I am very sorry that I have sinned against you, and by the help of your grace, I will not sin again. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer to the Most Holy Trinity O Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I offer you the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, His flesh covered with wounds and blood, His agony in the garden, His scourging, His crowning with thorns, His rejection, His condemnation, His crucifixion and death, along with all the sufferings of your Holy Church, and the blood of martyrs, in reparation for my sins and those of the whole world. Amen. Agonizing Prayer Agonizing Jesus, I offer you my heart to be united with your agonizing heart as a co-bearer of your agony. Jesus, I wish to be in agony with you so as to hasten your glorious reign of peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.